Today we're going to dive into console login feature of browser dev tools and see how we can leverage some of the hidden superpowers of console to spice up our web development workflow. Have you been using old school console log all the time to just print some message? Well, that's cool. But have you noticed that console log accepts a variable number of arguments and that is really useful when we need to log multiple different variables. And there are some other siblings of console log like console.warn or console.error. Console.warn prints your message in warning styles which is in yellow and console.error in bright red. Warnings and error logging can be filtered using built-in filter button in DevTools and that gives you some control about what messages you want to see. Not only that, warning and error logs shows the file and line number of code and they can be expanded to see the struct trace. Struct trace is often faster way of debugging instead of moving line by line with breakpoints. As we are talking about struct traces, meet console.trace which is just like log, but it shows the struct trace. Next item on our list is custom styling. We can show texts in vibrant colors in large fonts. And the styles are written in plain CSS. So all you have to do is in your console.log, start your log message with person C and in second parameter, add your styles exactly like inline styles. So if any of your users opens browser console of your website, why not show them a colorful welcome message? Have you tried opening console in Facebook? It shows big warning message with custom styling. And bonus tip, but wait, please hit like if you haven't already and subscribe for more of such contents in future. Alright, the bonus tip. Console supports emojis. So start expressing your emotions in console from now on. Yes, programmers has emotions as well. Up next, meet console or table. If you have tabular data like array or object, just put it in console or table. And the table is going to be displayed where you can easily inspect your data. A flat array is very useful to inspect in table, but if you use object, well, browser is going to create a column for each keys in the object. Start playing with the table tool and you will figure out how to use it according to your need. Hope you liked this video. If you have any comments, please let me know in the comment section below and I'd be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.